Welcome to this episode of Diaspora Scholars TV. So today we are in Alabama. We are actually at the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa. Uh, can you believe it? Like I keep saying, we are in Tuscaloosa. We went all the way again to Alabama, the southern state of Alabama, at the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa. We are here to, feed, to meet uh, Fred Mochari. Fred is a student here doing a PhD at this school. Previously, he was at the University of Youngstown, Youngstown State University, and now he's here. So again, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you okay, again. Yeah, ah, yeah. We planned this for a long time. Yeah, sure. It, it has happened. Yeah, it has happened. Finally. James, uh, see. finally I met Fred. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. This is Tuscaloosa. Yes. Alabama. University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa. In Tuscaloosa. All right. So where are we right now? Um, we are in the state of Alabama uh -huh. in the United States, uh -huh. the city of Tuscaloosa. Uh -huh. Um, seems to be a small city, but it's a big city in a way. It's a big it's, city in a way. Yeah, it's towards the south of uh, the United States of America. Uh -huh. But I, I look around, this, this is not small by any means, so which building is this? So this is Shelby Hall, it's the College of Arts and Sciences. Uh -huh. it, hosts, it hosts the chemistry, the labs, mm -hmm. um, it has the chemistry research labs, mm -hmm. uh, it's connected to the science and engineering uh, complex, uh -huh. which has the uh, chemistry labs, mm -hmm. and this is where we do our research and also do the teaching. As the oh, so you, so you are in the chemistry department? Yeah, in the chemistry department. You are, what program are you doing at this school? So, uh, I'm doing... Um, the PhD in chemistry. Uh -huh. Yeah, after doing my master's in Ohio uh, in chemistry, mm -hmm. I moved down here to do my PhD in chemistry. A PhD. Yeah, but I'm more into biochemistry. Okay. Doing more of enzymes mm -hmm. uh, analysis, uh -huh. looking at the at the molecular level in terms of cloning. So okay. more about. I'm so you are working on a particular. Is there a particular protein you are working on? Um, currently, I'm working on glycoside transferases. Oh, glycoside transferases. Yeah, in my master's, I did the glycosidases, and I was more interested into glycoside transferases. Mm -hmm. My professor had students working on these glycoside transferases before, mm -hmm. but the project has been learning since 2009. Since 2009. Yeah, so although my research group, they work on uh, the subcluster, uh, sub S cluster enzymes, mm -hmm. and the sub. Uh, the sub enzymes, this one is the major project for mm. our lab. But soon I'm moving to the sub cluster. Okay. Yeah. Hold that thought because uh, <laughs> we'll come to the. I know our viewers are interested. Here you are. Sure. Your name, where did you, co you come from? And how did you even come here? You already told us you came from Ohio. Mm. But, uh, you know, uh, from which part of Kenya do you come from? Tell us a little bit of your background because I'm sure there are people interested to get to know. They are, sure. They'll watch this video and say, oh wow, I want to be like Fred. <laughs> <laughs> so, so where do you come yeah. from in Kenya? Yeah, I come from the western part, uh -huh. in Nyanza, uh -huh. specifically from Mkisi. Uh -huh. And to be very particular, I come from a place called Emenwa in Bobas constituency. Emenwa Bobasi constituency. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's where I come from. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, I was in a Kisi High School. That's oh, why I did Kisi my, is a prestigious school. Yeah, after studying for my primary level in Mass Academy, I moved to Kisi High School. Which primary school was that? Masi Academy. Masi Academy. Yeah. Uh, that is a, that's an that's an academy. Yeah, it's an academy. Uh, <laughs> it's story of another day. It was not. It's a story of today, there. Fred. This is the day. <laughs> There's no other day. We met you today. We uh, came all the way. You are telling your story today. Sure. Tell us your story about how you started at Mercy Academy. So, um, I didn't start exactly from Mass Academy. Uh -huh. I started from a public school. It was called Emenwa Primary. Uh -huh. And when my dad um, realized that I was always on top of the class, but with very a uh, few marks, mm -hmm. like by then it was 700 out of 700, yeah. so we, I was scoring 299 and uh -huh. on top of the class he said, <laughs> wow. no, this is, this is not a good yeah, school. Yeah, let me take you to uh, an academy. Uh -huh. he, he struggled to pay because we didn't come from a well of family. Uh -huh. Yeah, he struggled to pay, he could borrow some money, do some jobs, small jobs, yeah, yeah but we managed 
you managed to be able to do that and pass your exams. So which year was that when you did your you know, final exams in primary school? So I did my primary exams in the year 2000 mm -hmm. and I managed to score the, the highest marks from Mass wow. Academy. Wow and joined the KCI school. Wow. But the fun thing when I went to KCI school, I was on the bottom of the list. <laughs> <laughs> because KCI school had <laughs> missed very, very smart kids. Yeah. Of course, you were the best in, from, from, from Masi Academy. Yeah, I was the best. But, but on that list, my dad was like, oh, where's your name? He's at the bottom. Uh, yeah, so I joined the KCI school. It was which not, year was that? It was in 2001 mm -hmm. when I joined KCI school. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was not an easy task for my parents to pay such a huge amount of money. KCI school is expensive, although yeah, it's a good school. It yeah. was very it's expensive. It's a national school. Yeah, it's, current, it's, it's an currently a national, national school, school but yeah. previously it was a provincial school. Yeah. Yeah, it was elevated when they were trying to adjust, the, I think, the school system in terms of um, balancing the national schools throughout the... Yeah. Uh, that's nationwide. Kind yeah. Of, yeah. So, I managed to... To, to pass from KCI school mm -hmm. and go to Egerton University. Mm -hmm. So in Egerton University, I started doing, um, uh, I, I joined actually Bachelor of Science General, mm -hmm. and this way I started doing um, uh, biology, uh, specifically botany and zoology, mm -hmm. and some chemistry. Mm -hmm. Uh, at some point, because it was not the best course for me, yeah. I shifted to biochemistry oh. in second year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so you started, you have been a biochemist since that time. Yeah, I've been mm. a biochemistry since that time. When you talk about chemistry, you speak my language, but that's a story of <laughs> another day. <laughs> okay. So here you are now. When did you finish Gigaton University? So, Egerton University, I finished in the year 2011. 2011? Yeah, and uh -huh. I graduated in December 2011. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, then from there, I had to start teaching. Oh, you taught? Yeah. You were a high school teacher? Yeah, I was a high school teacher. So, you did a Bachelor of Education Science or Bachelor of Science? No, I did Bachelor because of Science. Because biochemistry is always Bachelor of Science. Um, I didn't do Bachelor of Science, uh -huh. but I was teaching in a private school. Okay. Yeah, so... I had to go to Karakaniti County. Wow. Where I taught for three years. Mm. So actually, I was there from the year 2012. Mm. Um, 2012, uh, partly from 2011, then 2012, 2013, I left. Which school was that? Uh, it was called Mugunana Education Center. Mugunana Educational Center. Yeah, it was, was a private school. Wow. Yeah. In, that was an experience. And it was an experience. Yeah. yeah From Kisi all the way to, to Tarakanithi. Yeah, I had a friend of mine who, who gave me a call and said, Oh, Fred, uh, would you mind to come and teach? And I remember I was in Nairobi. Yeah. And in Nairobi I was hustling. You were trying to find a job. To find a job. And uh, obviously there were no jobs. So yeah. why not go, why not why go not, to Tarakanithi? Yeah, why not explore Kenya? Yeah. So I said, Oh, Tarakanithi, I can come and teach. So I started teaching, I got this experience from... So what were you teaching, Tarakanithi? I was teaching chemistry and biology. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So I taught there for... Since 2011, uh, part of 2011 till 2013, end mm. of it. Then 20, 2014, I moved to Camel Girls. Mm -hmm. This is in Machakos, in Bioni Machakos. Camel Girls? Yeah. Wow. So this one, I was teaching girls. They were very bright girls. Very smart girls. Yeah, I miss those girls because they Talk were... Talk to them on that camera. They, they, they were very good. Yeah, yeah. Speak to some so, of them if they're watching you. <laughs> I'm sure they'll watch this video. Yeah, I love to share some of these with them. Camel girls in... Is it in Bioni? It's in Bioni in Machakos County. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's where I was... So uh, that is now 2012. In, yeah, that's in 2014 now. 20, now it's 2014. Yeah. So 2014... I was there for one year, uh -huh. so um, I got some challenges, healthy mm. challenges, oh. so um, I, I went back home and then later on I traveled to Nairobi because um, I wanted to get another job, mm. Mm. but I could not get another job, mm. but I was sick, so I went back to Mbiuni, but I got this call from um, a friend of mine and told me, oh, there's a school here in, uh, in Nairobi, would you like to teach? Mm. Can you try the interview? So I went there, got the, did the interview, mm. um, then I got the job. 
Which school was so, uh, this visionary school? Which one is in Nairobi, South Sea, mm -hmm. and that is where I started teaching in 2015. Mm -hmm. So from 2015, um, I taught there for 2015 till the time I came to the US. Mm -hmm. I met friends there, and it was it was an exciting place mm. and challenging place. Mm. So there was a lot to learn, a lot to explore, and. Um, that is where I got the experience of teaching because from 2015 all the way to 2021 all the way to 2021 yeah that's when you started applying to come to the US yeah in part two you'll tell us how you came to the US this is mm. the as for scholars TV we are exploring the story of Fred Motari yes. you've gone to taught so many schools in Kenya you were meant to teach I was meant to teach. <laughs> Are you still teaching here at the University of Alabama? Yeah, I'm a teaching, a graduate teaching assistant. Graduate teaching assistant. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing since I came here. Uh -huh. Some of the courses I, I teach in the labs, mm -hmm. and some of the courses we co teach with the professors here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the undergraduates, we do like the marking, we do the proctoring. And we teach the labs, we mark, we guide the students on what to do. Mm -hmm. um, we have office hours where the students come in and we guide them through the coursework, mm -hmm. through the assignments. Yeah, and, no more teaching yeah. uh, duties. So when we return, viewers, again, Fred Motari is our guest today. So again, this is the Aspora Scholars TV. We are at the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa, this one of the southern states of the U.S., way down to the south, I tell you. It's very far from Indiana where we came from, but that's why we do this, folks, to meet people like <laughs> like Fred. <laughs> so that, subscribe to this channel, folks, so that you can be able to bring you more people like Fred who are very inspirational. I tell you, this man can be deceiving. He works really hard, and it's a big challenge. We'll find out in part two of this show. Subscribe. Buona.